Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today, what I want to talk to you about is the Andromeda activations that are starting to happen within the first groups of people that will be either shoved together, pushed together, come together, somehow, some way, you are getting yourselves into alignment. Now, this is still very mentally confusing and intense, and yet at the same time, many people are feeling very excited. Now, over the past week, many people have uh, expressed things coming up, things that come into their awareness that their twin is going through, or if you're living with your twin, the things that they are going through. And this is especially affecting the masculine because the old masculine is getting out and it's actually the old electric feminine and the electric masculine from 3D, 4D and integrating the new, which is kind of odd for people. It's striking people as very odd. So these Andromeda activations, this goes back very far for many people and it has to do with several planetary connections. It has to do with the longest, you know, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, quite literally. And what is coming up to purge, to release, will be all detrimental influences of anything, which can be buddies or mates, you know, people that your twin or yourself may have gone drinking with, slipping and sliding around in places that you shouldn't, what they could say, hanging with the wrong crowd. And a lot of you have huge hearts. You don't always want to see things for what they are or you haven't been able to see it. Family, family who has been drama or abusive or somehow controlling or manipulative or forcing you into a situation, especially things like arranged marriages, whether it is a tacit agreement that they will help you or push you to who you should be with, or an actual cultural experience where your family starts becoming involved with getting you married and arranging that. This will be also friends. And this includes people like friends with benefits, people that might be very close to your union or that you want to stay friends with, but there's been something that needs to adjust. This is also going to be activities. Okay, this is going to be the things that people involve themselves in to either distract or avoid, and that will be released. It's also going to include many long ago and far away religious influences, which have gotten twisted and turned and, you know, to where the truth has been lost somehow. It's going to be things like rituals, which no longer have any meaning for people. It's going to be some of the things that have uh, started and evolved from things that seemed sensible at one time and now doesn't make any sense for where you're going. This is going to be going on now through June in several cycles. So this is not letting up. And even if not for a while, this is occurring so that things still keep moving along here to get people into proper alignment. So if this is new to you, if you're just finding out about what is this, what are all these energies that I'm suddenly feeling? What if I met someone and I feel something and now I'm feeling my body go haywire? Many times it is like that for people. They will feel their body react or respond or it will feel like mental breakdowns, illnesses, disease, things happening with the eyes, with the organs along the solar plexus especially. Your masculine, regardless of what gender body it resides in, whether it's you, whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, your masculine will be affected. Offer your assistance to your twin. You don't run the other way. You don't become an ostrich and bury your head in the sand. 
okay? You have to offer your assistance, even if it is, you know, in certain ways. And one of the misconcepts is in how do you do that? How do you offer assistance? Well, let me say something. This is a very refined energy. This is the aspect that is going to be etheric in nature. It's going to be very elemental in nature. And there's ways to do things. Casting out your energies all over the globe is not going to be of assistance to your personal individual union. It just won't. Many people are not yet up to speed for doing something at that scale because this tends to go in contractions and expansions. This is a new birthing process. This is literally you two assisting each other through this. Even if you don't believe it, you are. The guidance that you need comes through your body and that's a lot of what I focus on. So just to give you an idea, how this has evolved for me. When I look back to childhood, even from the age of two, I knew nothing about this twin flame. I didn't know these words. Your other may not know these words. Don't get hung up on the vernacular or the words or the word choices or they said this, you said that. That'll keep you dualistic. They still belong to you. So even from the age of two, I had a sense of being from somewhere. And this sense continued. And it seemed like no matter how I in, tried to integrate myself, no matter what kind of fashions I wore, see, keep calm, the Blu-rays are on it. I'm making my own fashion statement, right? So whatever, you know, whatever people try to do to fit in, sometimes you just don't feel like it. And it's even more so when you meet someone and your world starts to turn upside down and, you know, it just seems like certain energies are taking over. And it's hard to find a balance with that. It's going to be even more challenging to find a balance unless you are working in conjunction with each other. Because these planetary alignments and retrogrades are not happening without something. Okay? This is, this is about your union. And for me, the way, from my perspective, this is your heart and soul. Nothing could be more important than your mortal soul, which is why I take it so seriously. And why I have so many things to be of assistance for people. This is what I teach. I teach about the body. I teach about the body. It's no different than if you went to a biology class, except it's a metaphysical class. That's what it is. That's what my materials are. So some of the other things to be aware of here are going to be things that have to do with the heart space. You're coming into a level where you're, as your body purges out, what else do you want to do? You want to seal that up. That's what we're doing here. You want to be able to close certain things off. So that people don't hack into you, tap into you, control or manipulate you, read your mind. You know, a lot of those things are going to be a thing of the past. Even at the same time, people are beginning to teach and say, oh, I can teach you telepathy. I can teach you this or that. If it's not new, it's only going to last for a certain time. Now, I need to make you aware that the masculine, and this is particularly important for men, we're in a time compression, even more so now. Your awakening may have taken you years and, and months and, you know, more years and more cycles. They've got about this much time. And it is a crash course for them. And they are crashing. They need your assistance. Be of assistance to your other because you are the best candidate for that. You're the Best, but you actually elected yourself before you were born here. You chose this. It might not feel like you made the choice because in here, it's a very dense environment. It's getting lighter and lighter and lighter and people are feeling their promises and their agreements despite what the mouth is saying. So even when people say things, they may still be purging out 
old beliefs or old thought patterns or family patterns. So what I want to let you know is this is alarming energy for people. And there are several people that, you know, try to go back under the glass ceiling. You know, they can't really see above it. It's, it's there. They can kind of see things, but they can't get out. Because what have they decided to do? They took one big breath out in the high refined air and they went right back under. Because they can't make sense out of it. And what have they decided to do with it? Well, they have several things they're selecting from. They're clutching at crutches. This is going to be things like addictions. Things that they're having trouble letting go of. This can be addictions to rage, shopping, gambling, things that you smoke, things that you drink like alcohol, other types of uh, medications or street drugs. And I'm hearing about all kinds of stuff that people are sticking in themselves, which for angelics is not healthy. And the perennial favorite, work, work, and more work, being a workaholic, okay, and what else is under here? Oh, we're looking for love in all the wrong places. We're having one night stands and we're finding people in all kinds of places. We're finding people at groups, we're at bars, we're out with friends, we're seeking and we're not finding at the very minimum, you're finding someone to cuddle with and comfort yourself. And some people will rationalize that in their head and they'll say, you know what, I've been working and working and I just need a good hug. But it comes the day where you're crying yourself to sleep in your bed and you don't want that person to touch you. And yet, people will go out onto online dating or social media and, you know, be looking at the adult friend finder site. And having this stuff and it doesn't fit you. Your body will continue purging it out. You'll get too tired or sick to work in the same way. All of the addictive stuff, your body can't handle the level of chemicals within it. It's That's not what your light body is for. So this person becomes more and more confused because pretty soon there's nowhere to turn. There's nothing where does she go? She's very confused and her head is, you know, she's gone back under here. And she can't find her way out. Okay. Along comes the twin. And the twin will sometimes say, now these two love each other. They can feel it. He lives in her neighborhood. She sees him regularly. In fact, He's the soccer coach for her son's team. So they see each other fairly frequently. However, she's married and she's afraid. And he's a super nice person. She really wants to be with him. So he comes to her house one day and he says, Hi. Hi. Oh my God, I'm so glad you came. It's like I can't breathe. Well, guess what? Just pack a bag. We're going to go off and just... Go live someplace. And she says, what? Are you kidding? Just go like that? I, I just can't go like that. I, I've got three kids. My husband's a good man. What? But you told me you love me. You told me you wanted adventure and romance and you see yourself with me. But, but that's what I said. But that's not the reality. But we dream each other. We're making love. I... I know it. I see you. Well, you're seeing things. You're seeing dreams. No, it's real. It's more real than here. I've come to you. You told me to. You said to me in your dream, in my dream, that you wanted me to come and get you. I'm here. I, well, I, I'm confused now. I'm really confused. And I, I'm so confused. I, I don't get it. You told me to. You told me to take you away from everything to help you. I'm here. Yes, but I have responsibilities. I just can't. I just can't. And I, I have to go now. I have to go. I'm so upset. He's saying, I don't know what I did wrong. 
I did what what she told me to do in the dream. I I don't understand it. I oh, I don't know. Is it is it just her time of the month? Is she just really confused? Is why would she? But it could it be that could it be that time of the month? I I don't know. I don't think so. I kind of feel her when it's her time of the month. I didn't think it was. And oh, I I don't know. I. Maybe I should just date someone. Maybe I should date someone. And she's here. And she's got her family. And guess what? Her lower chakras have tethered her there. She's tied down. She cannot see her way out of this. She just can't. How would she clear herself? What is an appropriate conclusion? How do you properly conclude the karmic relationships that you've had with people so that, yes, the children aren't tossed about, so that there's as much amicability as possible all the way around? How does she keep those things from getting back into her heart and affecting her and making her feel all kinds of emotions she never thought she'd feel? Okay. And you have another couple here. So now comes the time that they've met each other, right? And he's saying, you know, I really love you and I want to make life with you. And let's start looking for a place to live. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're having a thing. It's a thing. No, it's not a thing. My heart loves you. My heart told me it was you. Yeah, but, you know, I like to play the field. I want to keep my options open. What? What do you mean keep your options open? My heart told me that this is it. There he is. He's the one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't want to be tied down. I want to be free. I want to be free. But I can feel everything that you're doing. And it has an effect. Whoa. You know, you're free. You're just as free as me. You can go out. Go date other people. Go on. I, I don't mind. I don't mind. I want to. Yeah, but you're trying to date everyone. I just want to be with you. You know what? That's just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, but, but you said so many things to me when we were together. You know what? You're crazy. You're making that up in your head. You're trying to twist this and control me and manipulate me. Well, you're trying to make me feel worse. It's like you're trying to hold me in this and keep me at arm's length and, you know, like I get no say in this at all. Well, I'm not just, I'm not saying you don't have a say. I'm saying go be free. Go date who you want. Because that's giving you the permission to not take responsibility for what we have. Oh, that's what you think this is? I, I don't know. You're, you're kind of mistaken. And... They're trying to get on the same wavelength, but they're not able to. So what do you do when people have, you know, tasted it, felt it, breathed it, and do this? Or what do you do if your twin has done that, okay? Because now comes the time where the mind can no longer twist these things around. The mind can no longer rationalize it. The old 3D electric energies of the masculine and feminine can't control how it's done, can't manipulate it, can't put the wall up, can't project that onto their twin. You can't call your twin crazy now. And plenty of people have either thought that they're crazy or been called that by their twin or by people around them. Hey, you still carrying the torch for that person? Yes, I hope you are still carrying that torch and I hope you speak up for yourself because these are the energies for speaking up. And even if you don't speak up, you can say it in your heart. Yes, I love that person. God showed me who they are and that's that. And I hope that you make decisions because when it comes to being introduced to the other half of your soul, there is only one. The connections are inside there. And how do you get deeper and deeper and deeper? It is through the body. That's how you originally felt. 
So if you take your own awakening and you start to say, hey, when I woke up, I felt right there. How do you get them to feel? It is through the body. Now, a lot of people are holding a lot of tension. Anxiety is coming up. Weepiness is coming up. Moods are coming up. And when it comes to the masculine coming out from under here, there's a lot of people going into a depression. You have to be the one to get the channels open for them. So I have this class for the next, I have um, four more of them. The ninth, it's the morning of the ninth here in Chicago, which would be the afternoon in Europe and uh, the afternoon in South America, Mexico, or parts of South, South America it would be the early afternoon. It will be early on the West Coast. The 10th, which is a Friday evening here in Chicago, and it would be the next morning in Australia, or Asia, or India, or Japan, Korea, any place there, it's going to be uh, towards the morning. The 12th, again, back to, uh, this is going to be a Sunday morning here in Chicago. It's my Sunday morning, it's your afternoon in Europe, or it is uh, your way late evening in Australia. And the 16th, which is the last Thursday before the Equinox that I'm doing this. So this is to get your cosmic chakras ready, open, start getting the subtle bodies cleared. I walk you through it. I have a short presentation. I walk you through it. I open up the floor for question and answer, and we do a meditation. And people do feel. People do feel during this because that's what you need to do. And you need to evoke the feelings to your twin. If you're still man bashing or woman bashing, knock it off. It's time. It's time to take charge of the situation. Get serious about this, okay? This isn't so much about, you know, all the fluff anymore. There are serious things that people are feeling. When you talk about intensity, depression, anxiety, um, feeling like your organs are affected, feeling like your gut is purging something and you have no context for it. Or even more so, your twin, one of you is getting clarity and trying to take actions and the other one is not and they're very afraid because all they're feeling is their body go haywire. They're feeling all these body sensations and it is alarming. It's scary. Some of this is scary for people. You're not intended to be scared off or to retreat. But there are things that you're able to do. Now, together with this, a companion to this would be my webinar. If you have it, dig it out again. Catching your spirit body and sealing the gates of your heart. Because the heart breaking, the heart cracking open, dismantling all the stuff, that is going to be important to seal it up again. Seal it for being new. Also, my webinar called Divine Lovers Cosmic Body Reconnection. There are several things in here that are very helpful for this time. And you can get these on my site at twinflamesmerge.com. You can email me. My email address is on there as well, twinflamesmerge at gmail. And the links are below. The links are below in the description of this YouTube video. So I hope to see you there. I hope you're able to join. And if this is new to you, please know there is such a thing as the timing for you. Please do not be deterred by some of what you might see or read, okay? What you'll find is that there's people on the path and, you know, they're doing certain things. Please stick to your own Twin Flame Union. It's your true love story, okay? I'm here to help you with that. I'm not going to, I'm going to do my best to not steer you wrong at all and to help you feel and to give you practical guidance, suggestions, and what actions to take. Because some of this is not going to be done in some of the old ways. 
okay? And you may find that you actually do know more than you're giving yourself credit for. A lot of people doubt themselves. Don't doubt, don't doubt yourself what you feel. The feelings and impressions that you have are significant. So check it out. Go to my website or check the links below um, to join this or to get either of these webinars, which will be very helpful for you for this time. Please have a wonderful week. Thanks so much for listening. If you like these updates on what's happening and you like how I present it with humor, because at the very least, I wanna put a smile on your face for the week. So have a good day, subscribe. Subscribe if you, if you like having a smile put on your face. Okay, because this is, this is not rocket science. This is the heart. Thanks so much. Bye now. Okay. Bye now.